morning, everyone, especially to our very kind and approachable professor, Ma'am Nerisa M. Beatrice. I am your reporter, reporter for today's session. Before I start my topic for today, I want to present to you a sample picture. Take a look at the image below. What do you see? Ano bang napapansin natin diyan sa larawang nasa slides natin? Ano ba ang na, na visualize natin sa isip natin? Yan. Kung napapansin natin yung mga nasa may mga below, it is claimed that children cannot see the coupon because they don't have such images in their primary memory. And instead, see nine dolphins. And uh, may mga bilog dyan po. This is a test for dirty minds. It is said that if you need more than three seconds to see the dolphins, then there is a kind of a problem. image was related to my topic for today all about personality assessment what do you mean by personality what is personality when we say personality what does it mean to say that someone has a lot of personality when we say personality it is refers to being socially pleasant. Kapag marunong tayong, madali tayong makisalamuha sa kapwa, yung madali tayong i-approach ng kapwa natin, yan pala yung masabi natin, meron tayong pleasant personality. It also includes all the special qualities people have that make them different from each other. Yan, mga special qualities natin yan, na kakaiba rin siyempre sa ibang tao. This includes our charm, energy disposition, attitude, temperament, kung paano natin dalhin ang sarili natin, cleverness, all feelings and behaviors they exhibit. It is the reasonably stable patterns of thoughts, emotions, and behavior that distinguish one person from another. Yeah. Kapag napapansin natin yan, Makikita natin yung pagkaiba natin sa ibang tao. The goal of scientific psychology is not to discover the ultimate nature of reality, but rather to derive empirical generalizations that describe an individual's past behavior and predict his future behavior. With this goal in mind, let us consider how an individual's personality can be assessed. Yan. Siyempre makita natin doon kung ano yung may, meron tayong mga past behavior na predict natin yung future behavior ng isang tao. Depende kung pa, ano ang ipinapakita niya sa atin. How can we measure personality? Personality can be measured in many different ways. However, what criteria are used to choose between them? Okay, meron tayong dalawang criteria. Una ay reliability. Pangalawa ay validity. What do you mean by reliability? Who wants to read? Yes? Okay. Reliability refers to the replicability of the assessment's results. It is also a reliable personality test. Yields the same results across repeated testing. Yan. Kapag patuloy, patu kung ano yung nagiging result na ating test, kapag patuloy na ganun pa rin ang assessment natin, on the same results, repeatedly, Nagkakaroon ng reliable arco na nagiging maganda yung assessment natin yung result. 
Ano naman ay ibig sabihin ng validity? When we say validity, it refers to how well the assessment procedure really assesses what it purpose or assess. Yan. Next, a valid personality test yields accurate predictions about real-life behavior. Reliability and validity do not necessarily go hand in hand. A test can be high in reliability and in validity or vice versa. There are various types. Una po, unstructured interview. Pangalawa, projective test. Pangatlo, structured interview. And the last one is objective test. Yan. Ano ba ang pagkaiba ng apat na yan? Interview. What do you mean by interview? An interview is simply a conversation with a purpose. Yan. Diagnostic function when the interview is used for personality appraisal oriented toward past or present behavior, it is common in the study of personality theory and abnormal psychology. And what do you mean by prognostic test? I function. It is when the goal of the interview is to predict future behavior. It is common in applied psychology where people are being interviewed for jobs, applying for admission to graduate school, and in similar practical situation. Yan, yan, yan po ang pagkakaiba ng dalawang function ng interview. Yung una po ay diagnostic function at yung pangalawa ay prognostic function. The twin function of diagnosis and prognosis sometimes occur together as in clinical settings where the interviewer is concerned both with the parent's current personality and with predicting the patient's future behavior. Yan. Siyempre may relate natin yung current personality na isang tao kapag nag-conduct tayo ng ganito mga test para maalaman natin kung ano po yung magiging future behavior ng isang patient. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng unstructured interview? The individual being interviewed has the role of le leading the conversation. This occurs, for instance, in a psychoanalytic interview in which the individual is encouraged to discuss anything that he is thinking about. The interviewer is passive and primarily listens. Yeah, a structured interview from the word itself, po, de, hindi siya yung talagang naka-structure po na interview. Kuya lang po siya, yung pang, talagang pang madalian lang po siya. Yung hindi, hindi naka-organize yung interviewer. Sometimes the interviewer's interpretation is completely free and other times it is guided by a set of rating scale which the interviewer completes either during or immediately after the interview. Yan. Meron din siyang rating scale. Uh, yan po yung sample na kung paano na How ag aggressive is the individual? Yan yung mga tanong. How coherent is the individual speech? Next, does the individual discuss his thoughts or his emotions? Then the last one, how much experience does the interviewer have for the job? Yan. Meron tayo dyan mga, yung mga magiging reaction ng isang tao. Pwedeng kung ano yung maging, ang emotion niya, kung ano yung Ipapakita niya kung ano experience or yung inexperience. Malapit malapit natin diyan kung sino ba yung magaling mag magaling mag provide ng sagot. Yan, pagkakaiba ng unstructured interview. The next one is the structured interview. The individual responds to questions or statements made by the interviewer. Siyempre, kapag nag, nag provide, mayroong questions, kapag structured interview, automatic mag-respond yung individual. 
The interviewer usually has specific topics in mind and he he guides the conversation accordingly. Yeah. Kapag structured interview, syempre may meron na siyang guide, pasunod-sunod na yung mga tanong niya kaya maganda yung flow na interview. Sometimes a standard dice form is used as it as in a job interview where the interviewer asks a series of questions and records the individual's answer. As a tool for personality assessment, the interview has two major pitfalls. First, the interviewer's interpretation. Too often, the same response may be interpreted differently by different interviewers. Simply, different interviewers, different interpretation. Second, the individual may carefully attend to the interviewer's feedback and then respond accordingly. This is called Green Spoon, an exper experiment conducted by Green Spoon at the, on the year 1995, its subject was told to say anything he wanted. That's the meaning of a structured interview. What do you mean by Green Spoon effect? Whenever the subject said a plural noun, the incidence of plural nouns spoken by the subjects increased dramatically, while the incidence of all other types of words decreased. Essentially, the same results occur with nonverbal cues. Example, smiling are used in place of this word. Okay, test. A personality test is designed to ask questions that are not completely di direct. Test try to get the answers questions by evaluating how someone answers specific questions. For example, instead of asking something like how narcissistic are you or how high of an opinion do you have of yourself, they might instead ask, if you were king of the world, would it be a better place? If you answer yes, that might register as narcissistic. Yan. Projective test. Ano naman ang projective test? It is a special kind of test based on the idea that if you give people an ambiguous stimulus and ask them to describe it, their answer will tell you something about their personality. Kaya nga sinasabing projective test, Pwede mo siyang i-relate dun sa personality mo. Objective test. Most personality tests are objective tests. This includes any test with yes or no questions. Yan. I often get worried, no or yes. I often hear strange, strange voice. I have a fear of heights. I often get stressed out. I like animals. My favorite color is blue. Yeah. That's answerable by yes or no. Inventories. What do you mean by inventories? An inventory is a highly structured interview without an interviewer. An inventory is usually objective with the possible responses to its questions, being restricted rather than open-ended. Okay, what do you mean by Minnesota multi-basic personality interview? It is the most well-known personality in inventory. It consists of a long series of statements. The individual responds to a statement by indicating true or false, or cannot say in terms of how accurately the statement describes himself. Yeah, it consists of 500 statement. And that's all for my report. Thank you for listening and God bless to all of you.